Hello and welcome to my newest series for the Northfield Church of Christ. Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. If you enjoy this, please consider hitting the like button and also check out other content we have on the Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page, including our Sunday morning Bible studies, our Sunday morning worship services, both of which are live streamed, but can be viewed later, as well as our Sunday evening services with our minister, Mark, who gives another lesson uh, and also gives you some songs to sing along to for that. So this episode won't be on a particular psalm. It's more of an introduction, so you'll understand what I'm doing with this series. So let me start with the title of this series. It comes from a phrase that became very popular a few years ago in a lot of things on the internet, t-shirts and so forth, keep calm and carry on. But there's more of a history to that phrase as well. The phrase originally came from uh, World War II in London when the Blitzkrieg was going on and London was constantly bombed by uh, airplanes and chaos and fear were prominent within London. These posters were put up by the government to try to calm people down, to get them to carry on with their lives and to make something good out of the situation they were in. So I use that because it also equates with our lives and the chaos and fear that we often experience in our own lives. And perhaps these Psalms can bring us a little solace and understanding and bring us closer to God and keep us, keep us calm in some ways. So many of you may know the Psalms as uh, translated to songs, but another way to look at them also is as poetry because songs indeed are a form of poetry. Uh, not understanding poetry when I was young I was more of a purveyor of stories and writing essays and poetry I got lost in and, and didn't quite get the full understanding of them. And it wasn't until I really began to realize that poetry isn't just about the message that it's saying, but it's also about the sound of how that is presented, the rhythm, the flow of words, and the emotions that are triggered by these things. They are a bigger part of poetry and of song as well. And though we don't know the actual melodies of the songs that these psalms come from, we can take a feeling from them, from, from the joy, from the understanding and the calming of what's being presented to us. Now, I'm not a Hebrew scholar, and I can't really totally look back at the original uh, language that this was in, and we are looking at translations, but there are some things we can look at as far as the poetry and the beauty and, and the effects that are used within these Psalms. In examining this, I owe a certain debt to a gentleman named Jared Gilcher, who wrote an article, How to Read the Psalms, The Lost Art of Meditation. And in that article, he points out that in the Psalms, meditation is key. And it's key in our Christian lives, too. Meditation involves the rigorous use of the mind, reading something again and again and again until it resonates with meaning. Now, isn't that what poetry and song do? Do we listen to a song over and over again? And, and it may deepen our understanding of it, and it's meant to be done that way. We can't totally look at the original language and the, the sounds of the words there, but we can look at the repetition used within these and the parallelism used within the, this psalm poetry. So we should look at that and I will point things out there. So 
as we go through these, I won't be reading the whole psalm. Many of them are pretty long, but and I will most likely choose shorter ones. But we'll meditate upon these things, and I will give you the understandings and the meditations that I found in reading these over, and hopefully they will encourage you to focus as well, to take some of these Psalms. Many of us are familiar with, and I know I as a child, with the 23rd Psalm, and maybe that offered us solace, and still to this day offers us solace. And how many times do we know it so that we can meditate upon it and listen to it? So I will be looking at some of the other Psalms as well, and Maybe we can find something in there that will help us in our meditation and understanding towards a deeper and more fulfilling Christian life. I hope you will find this pleasing as I will find it pleasing to do these. So look forward to my next episode where I will look upon the first Psalm, Psalm 1. And maybe before then you might want to look at that Psalm yourself and Meditate upon it and see what you see in that. So until my next episode, be well and you are in my prayers.